Hi, I'm Joe Belfiore. Today, we announced that Windows 10 will be a free upgrade for millions of PC users out there. And we demonstrated another wave of features that will be coming in Windows 10. Besides the PC, we also showed Windows 10 running on phones for the very first time. In this video, I'll walk through some of those newly announced features for the PC. To get a look at the mobile version, check out my companion video on Windows 10 for phone. Before we get into it, here are a few important things to remember. What you're seeing today are just some of the great features of the final product. We'll continue to develop and refine right up to our launch. Let's jump right in. Back in September, I introduced a feature called Continuum for seamlessly transforming a two-in-one between a PC-like keyboard mode and a tablet-like touch mode. Now I'm able to show it working in real code. Here, you can see my desktop UI get switched automatically and smoothly to tablet mode when I detach the keyboard. With that change, I now have a touch-first screen ready for swiping and tapping. The Start menu transitions to full screen, and everything feels right for tablet. And when I reattach the keyboard, it naturally returns me to laptop mode, with the windows right where I left them, and the Start menu back to small size. Wondering how this looks if you have a tablet, like this 8-inch device? Well, just the opposite. When in tablet mode, I still get tons of great Windows-friendly features, like snapping a window to the side and choosing another to go next to it, or resizing these two snapped windows. And of course, I could attach this to a keyboard, mouse, and larger screen, and then operate it like my regular PC. A favorite feature of today's Windows Phone users is getting your own personal digital assistant built right in, Cortana. Cortana is different than, say, Siri, because Cortana gets to know you personally, and then she can help you out in smarter and more proactive ways. She learns more and more about you over time, understanding the interests and people you care about most. That kind of help shouldn't be limited to just one device, so we're bringing Cortana to PCs, too. Cortana on the PC will do all the things that Cortana does on the phone, like answering questions, setting up appointments, and delivering reminders. Hey, Cortana, remind me to send an email to my wife about the party. When do you want to be reminded? Cortana delivers the reminder at the right time on the right device for me to act on it. But we also want Cortana to be good at the common things that you do just on your PC, like finding a file or an email, or launching an app, or changing a setting. And not only can I speak commands, but I can type them as well into the Cortana area you see right here on the taskbar. And last, imagine you're busy at work on your PC, doing a report or a spreadsheet. You want to send a quick email. If you had a personal assistant who could do it for you, that would be possible without even removing your hands from the keyboard. Hey, Cortana, send an email to my wife about the Seahawks. What's your message? What a week. The Seahawks are on a roll. Let's get everyone together for a party. Go Hawks! One of the things that makes Windows terrific is the amazing apps people have written over the years. Windows 10 will include a built-in suite of apps that we've authored to run seamlessly across PCs, tablets, and phones. The Xbox app will open up a whole world of gaming on your PC, track your friends and your achievements, and you'll even be able to stream a game from your Xbox One right onto your PC. Our Photos app automatically displays photos from across your PC and phone via the auto-syncing OneDrive service. The collection view is easy to use, with auto-enhance of every photo and auto-grouping of dupes, burst shots, and even auto-created albums that you can share. Mail and calendar apps are built in for free and will provide a fast, familiar, and powerful cross-device experience for whatever mail service you have. Our music and video apps are getting an overhaul and will put all your entertainment at your fingertips. And we're including a Maps app as well to help you find your way wherever you're going. There's one more major feature in today's news. We announced an all-new browser app codenamed Project Spartan. This browser is designed to be great at helping you get things done on the web. The new browser is built on our modern platform 
with a new browsing engine and new UI. That means modern sites work reliably, consistently, and incredibly fast. But when you need backward compatibility, it's there too. Of course, what you're probably most interested in are the amazing new features in the UI. For one thing, we've made the tabs in our browser really easy to manage with cool features like tab collapsing. More substantial, this is the only browser with built-in annotations for commenting directly on web pages. You can use a pen to draw or make notes, or you could just use your keyboard to type right on the page, and then you can easily share your thoughts with others. This browser is also great for reading. It has a reading mode that sweeps away distracting clutter from online articles to give you a cleaner, more enjoyable reading experience. It reads PDF files and will automatically save articles for reading offline later if you add them to your reading list, which is built right in. All these features work across your devices so you can save something on your PC and read it later on your tablet or phone. Finally, we're improving the web by tapping into the power of Cortana right in the browser. Imagine having an assistant to make your web browsing more personal and relevant so you can find and do things online with greater speed and precision. Cortana is there to help when you type in the address bar, and she's able to provide help and insights as you look at pages on the web. That's a quick tour of some of the major additions to Windows 10 we just announced. There are so many great features here now and coming soon that you're going to want to check them all out for yourself. The way to do that is to sign up as an insider and then download the preview at the URL here on your screen. Thanks very much for being a part of our Windows community. <laughs>